Hello and welcome back to my wee channel. I've got a few things to do tonight, but to start off, uh, we've got to go to Cambridge Police Station and help out there. So come on, dog mate. My god, there's hundreds of them. Oh no, aim for the legs. You need a hand? Dog meat. There's one behind me. Legs. for my dog. Oh. Right, there any more? We appreciate the assistance, civilian. Oh. What's your business here? Eh, uh, trying to survive. Trying to survive out here, like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? Oh, dude, Vault 101. I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you know the feeling? You pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep-range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Yes. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Halen, take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your work. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Okay. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Stun packs. 38 rounds. Shotgun shells and a baby bottle. Baby shell. Bottle caps. A melon. Fusion cells. Ooh, ooh, money. Paladin dance. You ready to move out? Yep. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me and try not to lag behind. I'll do my best. I'm waiting. Arcjet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of barrels infesting Cambridge. Okay. Traveling this far from the Transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. We don't know much about them, except that they're short lived and broadcast on a frequency only obtainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever or whatever is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. Okay. I can help. Oh, I like this gun.
Right, Turn who's in. next? Mark Jen system. There shouldn't be any exterior security. So we'll head into the front. Okay. Ah, this must have been nice in its day. It was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they've done. Look at these wrecks. Wow. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Okay. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. Synth? Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. Okay, can I have a wee nose first? It looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm okay. gonna reconnoiter the area. Find the way to open the door. We can do that. Ooh, fan. Don't you touch my dog. Anymore? Institute Pistol. I might try one of them. Fusion cells. wonder if they were at the pistols. They seem to have a lot of them. Bottle caps, more fusion cells, a bit fuse. Movement detected. Curious. Gone. I'm not finished in here. For God's sake, can you give me peace? Do you know where you're going? Like, really? Where'd they go? Up the stairs? Remain vigilant. We've got turrets ahead. Okay. Try to keep Engine up, sorry. Ahead. Should be our final stop. Okay. Right. Self without me again. Proceed to the control room. Engine core power restored. Okay. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and it's standing by me. for your command. A 
love this gun. How did you get up there before me? Such a tit. Right, deep range transmitter, that's what we're after. Okay. Let's get out of here. looks clear. Let's move out. Okay. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother. Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweet was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. I'll take that, thank you very much. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? I've got to find baby Sean. Not ready to join you yet. Sorry. No. I need to move on. That's a shame. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find us. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally! Some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Had some help from our new friend. I've offered her a place on our team, but I'm not sure she's willing to accept. In the meantime, she's welcome to take shelter here, as long as she doesn't get in our way. Thank you. There's still a place for you we in the brother. Guts to join up if you want it. There's paper. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Yeah. Holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the pip boy and that fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? Let's do the interview. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Very cold. My <laughs> family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, 
They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yep. Which war, though? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. Let's get more info on the Institute first. The Institute? Who are they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. We don't know yet. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that that you'll see them again, or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Oh, I think we'll take her up and I think she'll be good fun. Yeah. Hey Piper. Head my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, dog meat. Oh, sorry boy. Time for you to head home. Alright, I'm going to finish off, have a sleep, get rid of this radiation. And I'll come back the next time and me and Piper will go on another adventure. Until then, take care.